Just the beginnings of it all. Oh, that is blow mold. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about that we can find these. This is the Avon Hummingbird pattern. All right, let's scander through the plastics and see what we can find. What are those? Why do I feel like we might use this? I feel like we might, and we've got like some popping corn because we've got our big popcorn maker, but we only break that out for like parties, so. goodness it is only Tuesday and it's already been such a week I cannot believe the amount of things already accomplished off of my list everything is just falling into place so that I can leave on my San Diego trip tomorrow morning oh my gosh this is so exciting love when a plan falls into place uh, so I am here at my local Goodwill to see if I can find a few things that I can sell either on my live sales or whatnot because those have to keep rocking and rolling even though I'm not getting eBay listings up right now. So that's my real focus right now and also to look for things that are going to result in some pretty good profit margins because I'm a little drained right now. Getting this new store open has not been any cheap endeavor, let me tell you. It's amazing. It's amazing how many things just uh, double and triple in cost from what you budgeted. But that's okay. We're okay. We're going to keep this rocking and rolling and uh, have some pretty exciting announcements coming very soon. Very soon. Because it's happening. It is happening. Uh, so if you can get to Vegas on Black Friday, I'm just saying that might be the day. All right. We're going to get into this Goodwill. We're going to see what we can find. So with that, let's get shop done. All right, and away we go. Let's get us a lucky cart. Woo! Right there. Uh-oh, does that mean there's no color today? Oh, they're rearranging, rearranging the whole store today. Getting ready for Christmas, here it comes. Here comes the Christmas, coming out. Just the beginnings of it all. Oh, that is blow mold. That is something we're gonna take a closer look at. He is only $5.99. So uh, even if he does not light up, uh, those bulbs, you know, that's the easy part to replace. So he's a keeper no matter what. All right, a little quick peek through the art. Just a quick peek. He's pretty cute. Don't really want anything big to deal with. These are kind of cool, but again, I, I've said recently, like they're kind of a long tail item. They take a little while to sell. And because I'm not getting anything listed, I just know realistically, I'm not getting anything listed on eBay or Cherish or any of those listing sites, probably for another three or four weeks at least while I get this store up and running. So I'm only looking for things that I can turn quickly in my live sales and on whatnot. Well, there's something you don't see every day. That's a sizable amount of bubble wrap for $5.99, but you know, I get mine at a really good price, so I'm gonna leave that for another reseller. Oh, let's start over here in the metals. There's nobody in this aisle, so kind of easy to get in here. I see something that kind of looks interesting. Let's see. What are you? Let's get you untangled. There we go. Let's see. What are you? You are a cool thing with fish and like a moon sun kind of $7.99. It's really nice quality. It's like these are kind of heavy and well made. I don't see any damage. I think. I think that's coming with me. You know, I 
It never fails. I'll say something like, I'm looking for things to sell on whatnot in my live sales. And then I find like some big gigantic thing that's definitely going to have to go in the store or on like Cherish. And then I find this, Loft by Umbra for $3.99. All these little owls, this jewelry holder. Can't pass that by either. But I guess that's just the thing about going out and treasure hunting for resale is you have no idea what you're going to find. And obviously I can't, I can't leave that kind of profit sitting on the shelf. I have to scoop it up. So in my cart it is, but we will continue to have a kind of our eye set on finding those things that, you know, whatnot and live sales and such. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. <sighs> Where is there no off season? Oh, UNLV. We've got some little carved souvenir type pieces. Don't do so well with those anymore. I used to. I used to pick those up and sell them because they would do quite well, but I guess that decorating style is past. It's kind of a nice uh, little decorative piece. Curate and create. Indeed. Yeah, I got some bookends that are not super exciting. Be your own kind of beautiful. Brush your teeth. Hmm. All right. Nothing. Nothing else too exciting except that. It's really cool. Little macrame kind of pencil cup kind of thing. I really, I really like that. I'm grabbing that for a buck ninety nine. Yeah, just like that, Halloween is all gone. Oh, I had a, a big inflatable cat out in front of my house, and Rachel wanted me to leave it up for a few more days, and I was going to, but it got windy today, and actually, I don't know if it punctured a hole or what, but it was laying on the ground this morning. <laughs> Made me a little sad. Okay, I've got my local friends collect these both Mikey bags of money and uh, crystal from Rosie's closet so I'm gonna pick that one up for $2.99 and see who wants it yeah I see him there <laughs> sitting next to it he's a little he's a little hobby piece he's sweet but I'm gonna have to pass him I'm really trying to stick to the ones that are just super extra special when I find them or that I've been given as a gift because that makes them super extra special as opposed to just ones I find and buy for myself. All right, you are interesting, but you are a little grimy. You need a little cleaning for sure. Ugh. I don't know. There's something about him that is not as appealing as uh, I initially thought. So we are leaving the piggy. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> that is a wine bottle holder for a Raiders fan. Yeah, all right, nothing on this side. Kind of a nice fall decor piece. Oop. Squish our carts next to each other here. Look on this side. Let's see if there's anything exciting. Yeah, not super exciting. Hmm. That's a little bit interesting. I'm interesting enough to take a peek, but yeah, again. Big, heavy, hard to deal with, not super exciting. 
Let's see if I missed anything on this side in the vases and planters. It's cute with the little bees on it. Not very high end, super contemporary. Oh, let's see what's over here in the trinkety trinks that we can find. These. This is the Avon Hummingbird pattern, and they can do fairly well, although there's only one. I might pick those up if there was two, but yeah, I'm not going to just pick up one. Oh, we got a little bit of Halloween stuff. Yeah. It's going to find its way to the shelves over here now. What are you? Like a block of wax almost. Oh, there's a cute little pig. You are a Pete Apsit. I have picked up Pete Apsit figures before and done quite well. Unfortunately, this one has got a big boo-boo on his little wing. I'm sorry, little guy. Here, you. Whoa, let's get you. Let's get you set back. So, so well, how are you sitting? Oh, you're a shelf sitter. You need an edge. I'm sorry. Okay, you're just gonna have to lay there and be cute. This guy looks vintage. Hmm. Almost looks a little precious momentsy. Ish, ish. This looks like a chalkware piece, but again, the stem is broken off. It's a hobbyist piece. That's too bad. Even being a hobbyist piece, I might have picked that up had it not been broken. Because it's really cute. I and mean, it would sell. So we've got a little lusterware saucer. Unfortunately, it's a saucer without a cup. This is one of those laser art things that you put the light under. Is that glass in there? Sometimes it's plastic and sometimes it's glass. This one is plastic, unfortunately. We've got a little carved onyx Aztec figure. Is this Royal Wooster? Sure is. A little egg cozy, is that what they call it? Or an egg coddler? Like, I think it's for like soft boiled eggs. I'm not sure at $4 if that's worth it for me today. So I'm going to leave it. Oh, goodness. What is that? Wow. That's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. That's just all I can say about that. We've got a little pottery piece made in China. <laughs> right there in the side, proudly etched into the side. Hmm. We've got some treasury collection dolls. These are the kind that I just stay far away from. Very, very difficult to sell. Oh, what's that? A neat candle. Little citronella candles. Oh goodness. Oh, got a big old pumpkin. Oh, and I, you know what? It's just a pumpkin. It's not a jack-o'-lantern, which means that's a good decorative piece for Thanksgiving, too. So for $3.99, I'm picking me up a big pumpkin. I looked up on the top shelf and I found this really nice basket that's made with wood beads. That's what intrigued me. It's, it's nicer than your average basket and the construction is very well done. I don't see a price, but I can't imagine they're going to charge me a whole lot. So I think I'm going to grab that too. It's definitely harvest basket decorating season. All right, let's scander through the plastics and see what we can find. Where are those? Oh, they're little silicone cups. I was hoping they were something more exciting than that. But alas, they were not. 
Yeah, no, plastics are pretty boring today. Ooh, be a pepper. You know, I'm a pepper. I usually have, I usually, I used to have a whole collection of Dr. Pepper items because I am quite the Dr. Pepper aholic. I've actually been to the Dr. Pepper uh, Museum in Texas where it all began. Two bucks. I think I gotta have this one. Let's see these little green stem guys here from Germany. I am sure it says uh, Ofan Muffel, Muffel Schmuffel. I don't know. I'm not gonna pick those up today. On another day, I might. But I don't know. I'm having second thoughts about saying that. They are only 99 cents. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to grab them. They're only 99 cents each. Let's see if maybe there's a couple of more. A couple more would be nice. Got a little mud man planter. Looks like he's missing his fishing pole. What are these? That's La Margarita de Don Pilar. So from a restaurant. Oh, there's a little, um, is this one of the little jelly jar guys? Is this Sylvester? It's only 99 cents. Bugs leads a merry shape. Oh, it's Bugs Bunny. Okay, it's Bugs Bunny and they're on a carousel. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to grab that for 99 cents. Now, if only there was more of those. I love the pricing. I love what it is. Super low risk, easy to sell, especially on whatnot. I can start it at a buck and just see where it goes. Oh, but there are no more. There are no more. We just have the one, but that's okay. I'll still do it. Is this. Oh, I thought for a minute that might say Fenton on the bottom, but then I see this really, really rough seam, so it's not, but it's kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Mmm. I think I'm going to pass. It's just not very well made. And I don't want to, I don't want to just, I don't want to sell things that are just pretty. I want to sell things that are pretty and quality too. Oh my gosh, look at this little ghost mug. He's cute. But again, not quality. What is in the Anchor Hawking box here? Oh, it's a punch set. It's an entire Crown Point punch set. Goodness, no, no, just say no, Danny. Let's get back and look and see if there's any more mugs. Is this Dutch wax? Sure does look like it is. Let me let me put it here and see if I can do a little quick little peel. Let's see if it says Dutch wax under here. Or yep, it's Dutch wax. Yep, that is a really good brand. So we are gonna pick that up for a buck ninety-nine. And we're gonna come back up here and we are gonna look for more. I love wash dishes? No. No. No, I do not love wash dishes. Uh-uh. Negative. Not. Fortunately, not only do I have a dishwasher, but I have two teenagers and that is one of their jobs. <laughs> Keep those dishes going in the dishwasher. Another punch bowl. Goodness. Oh, I just love these. I love these little soup cups. I've already bought Rachel a whole bunch of them though. No more, Danny. Oh, look at these cute little guys. Those are slightly adorable. But again, I'm gonna walk on by. We'll admire and then we'll walk on by. Just because. Not a nothing. Is there Corel? I don't usually pick up any Corel 
such as that. Oh, it's kind of a pretty little, uh, uh, are you? Yeah, I think that that is chipped. Darn it. I was hoping that was not chipped. And it's got this little piece. Well, that's, that's priced separately. Who makes you? Do you have a name? Do you have a name? It's something very, very light that I would never in a million years be able to make out. But it's got all that chipping, so. We will move right past it. There is a little piece of Temptations. This is the uh, Poinsettia pattern. $2.99, not bad, not bad at all. But I've got plenty of Temptations to sell right now, so I'm going to leave that one. Let's see what this mug is. Nope. I always feel bad telling them they're nobody. A little guilt. Feel a little guilt being mean to them. Ooh, is that one of the good brands? Yep, Chemex. Chemex is the good brand of these. Um, it's for coffee, and I can't tell you much more than that except that my millennial daughter uh, thinks these are the bee's knees. So, I'm gonna pick that up. See if we can find anything else exciting on this shelf. It's a pretty little spongeware canisters, but unfortunately, canister sets are extremely hard to ship. We've got a little tea set all strategically taped together there. Ooh. That's got a barcode on the bottom. All right. That's it for the kitchen stuff. Microwave popcorn popper. Want movie style popcorn and butter. Butter melts. Oh, butter melts. Temperature safe glass. Dishwasher safe. Kind of digging that. The kids might actually really like that. Ooh, brown sugar and cinnamon popcorn. Why do I feel like we might use this? I feel like we might, and we've got like some popping corn because we've got our big popcorn maker, but we only break that out for like parties. So this might be fun. I'm going to grab that for the kids. A lid for all occasions. Pots and pans. I've got some pots and pans I never got around to selling on eBay. So I might just donate those to the store and let them go. I'm going to be letting go a lot of stuff that I thought I was going to get to sell and just never got there. All right, plates and bowls time. It's a little dark in this aisle. Lighting sure makes a difference. I'm so excited about the lighting that we got put into the store. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a moment after we look at this pig. Who makes you? Farmyard collection. You came from TJ Maxx. You were $9.99. Goodwill has you priced at $8.99. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that so much. I do get 20% off, though. I don't talk about that too much, but in circumstances like this, for you to understand why, why I may, might put this in the cart, but then you know what? What am I? No, I don't. I'll, I'll leave him for somebody else. I just will. This looks vintage. It's a partridge in a pear tree, and it looks like one of those alcohol proof trays. There it says something there. Yep, alcohol. Alcohol proof. There's no price on it. I imagine it's not going to be very much, and that is actually a really cool whatnot item. These little plates caught my eye. They are Peter Rabbit. There are, mm, there's four plates here, but the bottom ones are Corel's. They are not the same. Boy, you gotta check that close because sometimes they can be a little on the sneaky side. These are Temptation Old World Black, $2.99. See, I probably would have picked those up had they been 99 cents. This looks like, uh, it's a little heavier than depression glass. This might be like an Arca Rock 
It's pretty. Let me see the one underneath there. This one feels more like a depression piece. You can just tell by the feel and the weight. And $7.99 though. Mm. Yeah. We're going to leave those for somebody else as well. We got a cute little apple bowl here. Style House Stoneware Fiesta. But it's, you see that? Oh, I thought it said $7.99. It's $1.99. Oh, that's not too bad. It's cute, but nah. Nah. I'm going to leave it. This is Mexican pottery. A redware fish. Price right, but again, okay, this is me showing a little discipline because I have plenty of large items in my cart already to deal with. So if it was super special, I would pick it up. I'll always check through the bathroom stuff because they can throw candle holders in there. They can throw, I don't know, some, even, uh, some of the bathroom accessories sell for some pretty good money. We've got posters. Sometimes it pays to look through the posters, but it really takes two hands to look through the posters. So I will, I'll take a peek when I'm not holding the camera just to make sure I'm not passing something good by. And then I see these shells that look like they're actually, oh no, I thought they were going to say made for aquariums. You could use some of these in an aquarium though, because they're not polished. But we don't we don't need any right now. We're we're good on shells. We're really good on shells. Office supplies. I'm always looking through the office supplies. Nothing we need today though. Alright, now we're into their hardware section. Trying to figure out if these are new or used. I think they are new. I think they might be. What is that? Okay, that's got a naughty word, so I can't show you. <laughs> Close up. It's some kind of a game with cats, and uh, it's not very nice. <laughs> it is not family approved. So, we will walk on by that and keep searching the rest of the shelves. Oh, let's see. Rachel just called me and told me there's something wrong with one of her little birds. So I am going to have to get this shopping trip finished and get home so I can assess the situation and try to help. It always breaks my heart when something happens with one of the animals you know which is gonna happen it's it's just the nature of having animals especially rescue animals so what we don't know their history and we don't know you know how old they are necessarily and chicky is um, we already lost chicky's mate uh, right before we moved we lost little Marley that was chicky's mate and so now we've got Chicky in the cage with JJ and Skye, and they've all been doing quite well, but obviously something is amiss, so. Ah, poor little Chicky. But Chicky's an albino, and albinos are known to have some health issues. So, that's a cute little milk glass pear, but it is $6, so we'll leave that. All right, we are looking through some lamps. That looks like a couple of stacked pumpkins right there. Got some ceiling glass shades. Hmm. Nothing else too enticing over here today. I'm over here now in the toys and I find a couple of uh, these little uh, plastic squeakies. I don't see a price. I'm wondering if they came out of a baggie. And if they came out of a baggie, does that mean the other characters are here somewhere? I mean, here is an empty bag. But I don't want just two of the dwarfs. I'm a little selfish in that I want, I want all of the seven dwarfs, but they're not here. 
Not here, not here. All right. Is this guy? I, I'm looking at him and I still don't know what is this guy. What does your tag say? Who? Oh, you're Disney. You're Disney something. Five ninety nine. I, <laughs> I don't know. But you're Disney, so I'll pick you up because, well, you're Disney. Squirrel. All right, let's look through the purses. I had to postpone my whatnot purse sale. Harris Tweed, hand woven by Maxessory. It's just, there's just not enough hours in the day. Not enough hours in the day to get everything done. And unfortunately, that was the one thing I could find that I could push off a little bit. And also the beautiful thing about whatnot is that I can just edit the date, change it to another time. Gianni Bernini. I don't know, is that a is that a good name? It's a cute purse. It's very clean on the outside. It looks to be pretty clean on the inside. I can pull that liner out and look and it's it's not bad, not bad at all. And it is only $6.99. You know what? I, I think I'm going to pick that one up for my whatnot sale. That's a cute little wallet clutch. But it's that not very good, not very good leather. Shoot up. Looks like, like a Beverly Hills polo club. USPA. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I think I think that's about it. Press in the purses. Okay, this mommy heart is troubled and just feeling like I need to wrap this up and get home. Go see what the situation is. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. Stay tuned. That's coming up right now, and I'll be back right after that. texted me back to let me know that Chicky laid an egg. <laughs> so I guess Chicky is officially a girl. If there was any doubt, Chicky's a girl. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I gotta get home and assess the situation, but I'm very, very relieved that that is what it was, and it wasn't that she was on death's door, because 
Uh, there is nothing in this world I hate more than seeing my daughter's heart broken. It just, ugh. Any of my kids, but um, Rachel's my extremely sensitive soul. And so, I don't know, it, it, like even thinking about it just almost makes me want to cry. Ah, so let's get home and assess the chicky situation. Whew, it was a nice little trip. I only spent about 50 bucks, got a few things, not overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm saying it out loud because I'm actually really proud of myself because it doesn't do any good to buy a whole bunch of stuff that you can't get through that ends up in your death pile or would you like to call it your profit pile uh, so okay so with that I'm gonna go home I'm gonna edit this video because uh, I hit the road tomorrow watch for the San Diego road trip videos coming next with that you go be profitable and make it fun okay Little Miss Chicky. Well, at least now we know you are a girl, officially. Cause you're laying eggs. Yeah, what are you doing, silly? What are you doing, silly little bird? That's her boyfriend right there. That's, That's her boyfriend over here. Oh, well he's hanging out with her. She's a grumpy one. You think that's yeah, cause the boyfriend? Yeah, because they're feeding each other. Oh, well, okay. Oh, she's hiding back there now. All right, so all is all is okay with Chicky. Rachel already took, she she was sitting on the ladder when she laid her egg and so it dropped to the floor of the cage and broke. But we don't, we don't want, we don't want baby parakeets. We're not trying to breed these guys. It's not what we want to do. No, okay, but, ah, oh, tragedy averted.